Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've been shopping. Yay! And I've been to the range. Well, I went to, uh, we have three stores that are similar type stores here. Here in the UK, we have uh, B&M and we have Home Bargains and we have the range. Uh, out of all of them, I think for craft stuff and everything, the range is the best. Um, but the other two do have quite a few things in it as well. And somebody did post that B&M had started um, with a new range of diamond paintings and they have got them on at the moment um, £15 each or two for 24 and as you can see they're all boxed and that's because they're already pre-framed and then I have a friend who is absolutely mad on the Beatles and I thought oh what a fantastic birthday present to get her so yeah i've got this one and i'm going to do this one for her birthday yay i have done a bit of video in uh, around the shops as well um sadly there was some really loud copyright music being played so i'm gonna have to sort of like mute the sound on it unfortunately so you're not gonna hear me talking i was gonna have a go doing a voiceover but i've not done that before so that's something else i'm gonna have to learn so possibly not in this one but maybe in the next one but i think it more or less speaks for itself it's all the halloween Halloweeny stuff um, that they've got, and then there's also all the Christmassy stuff was just starting to be put out that day. Uh, it was quite funny because one of the uh, chaps that was putting out the Christmas stuff, um, a hubby said to him, "Oh no, not Christmas!" And he said, "Oh well, I hope you've been good, or you'll get nothing in your stocking." <laughs> yeah we had a bit of fun with that guy um and looking at all the christmas stuff as well so yeah i know people do like seeing the shopping bits and seeing what's coming out obviously i'll do some more video in um when all the christmas stuff's out but yeah uh, and i managed to get my halloween tree um if you remember when i went in hobbycraft oh when was it a couple of weeks ago couple, maybe last month i can't remember well it will have been last month because it's september now and uh, they had that little like white tree and I think it was about £16. And um, it was, you know, not, well, maybe about that big, about that tall. I'm sideways on now, if you, <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, and it didn't light up or anything. And I was sort of rumming and ahhing. And then we went in uh, the range and they had this light up one with all LED lights on it. And it was only £14.99. So I said, Toby, can I get that? Well, he's now got it next to his chair because obviously with it being LED, it's really, really bright. And uh, he was really sad when we took all the Christmas tree lights down because he really loved having all the Christmas lights up. So he's now got it, he's claimed it, but it is going to be decorated for Halloween. So yay, I also got the Halloween tree. I'll try and do a little bit of a video of it um, and pop it. Uh, in this video as well so you can see what it looks like but I thought it was a bargain buy because it's about tw nearly twice the uh, height of the little one that they had in Hobbycraft and it lights up as well so it's very very pretty right anyway let's have a look at these diamond paintings so we'll have a look at the other one first we'll leave uh, the fab four till last so this one is actually a light up crystal canvas and it's a fairy tale uh, castle this is like the nighttime one they also have the daytime one but it was all like sugary pinks and lemons and things and i thought really i've not particularly got anywhere that i could put that one um i thought this one was a bit more generic with its color palette so that's why i've got this one so it's telling us it's a 12 inch by 14 and a half inches, uh, 30 centimetres by 37 centimetres. A strange size, so I'm pleased it's already framed because to look for a frame that size would be quite fun. Uh, 8,000 plus crystals. It's a Hinkler Create, which I have had before. Uh, and it's telling us, uh, warning, contains coin battery. So it has already got the battery in it. Well, that's good. Uh, we've got our instructions on the back. It's telling us our tray, our crystals, uh, storage bags. Uh, oh, they call it silicon gum rather than wax. And we get one of our stylus adapters. Okay. And then again, we've say we've got all our instructions. So let's get into this box and have a look. And it has got sellotape over the end. So let's... Uh, just give that a little bit of a slice with my lovely little flower knife 
and try and get into this without breaking my nails. I've managed to break two today. Um, yeah, I went to the post office and snapped two nails. So whoopie do. Never mind. <laughs> okay, so our gems are all in your little bags. There's no DMC codes or anything on them. And it looks like the key code doesn't have any DMC codes either. So, and that is our canvas. So it's a partial, um, only the castle and the foreground have got any gems on. All the background is just plain. Take it out the plastic, please. Where's my little knife? <laughs> I'm trying to show you with all the glare. Oh dear. Nobody ever said I was a professional. <laughs> For uh, twelve pound, this isn't bad. It's twelve pound or twelve pound fifty. Yeah, twelve pounds. So buying two, you got to uh, the extra money off. So it was fifteen pound or two twenty-four. And yep, yeah, that's our little key code with seventeen different colours. And they're all numbers and capital letters. And we're at one to eight, which is excellent. Uh, we have our little toolkit, as I say, it tells you on the back what you get. So it's the little white pen, but these have like a, it's like a snowflake type like flower on the end with two big diamonds in the middle. And they're quite nice and light to use. You can put your pen grips on them as well. We've got a little white tray and a piece of red wax. And what have we got? Oh, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Scintillating video, this isn't it? Watching me uh, count plastic bags. That, uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 bags. So you get as many bags as colours, which is really, really good. Gosh, I wonder who sat and counted all those out to make sure that each kit gets the right number. Oh, that goes into my strange jobs list. Wow. So, yeah, what's your job? Well, I, I count little plastic bags to go in diamond painting kits. Okay. It's right up there with uh, one of my friends, her uh, hubby, used to make the... Um, uh, cardboard rolls, toilet rolls, you know, the little inner tubes with toilet rolls. And then uh, one of the factories, uh, when I lived uh, across in Lincolnshire, uh, one of the factories there, they had a production line of making sandwiches and there was somebody's job to take the excess butter off the bread. So somebody buttered the bread and then they passed it on to the person next to them and they took the butter off the bread. And they're just some of the funniest jobs I've ever come across. So counting out little plastic bags to go in diamond painting kits is up with those. But I think they take, what's your job? Well, I take excess butter off bread. <laughs> it's marvellous. <laughs> oh dear. Right, okay. So we've got a little on-off switch on the back and it says that it's got an LED battery. So... Oh, look. Oh, apologies if you don't like flashing lights. Uh, I didn't realise it flashed. But yes, yeah, so you've got all your little stars and your moon lights up. So, yeah, where I was saying that I thought it was like gems on it, it's actually the little LED lights poking through the canvas. Oh, that's marvellous. Isn't that pretty? Oh. oh, that's really, really good. It's an excellent clear drill field as well. I think you can see there. Gonna have no trouble. Oh, you can see a reflection of my camera, well, my phone. Uh, yeah, <laughs> gonna have no trouble seeing those. Right, let me switch this off. Does it only do the one then? Does it only do the flash? I'm just turning it back on again. Yeah, oh, that might drive me nuts. I think I'd have sooner had it where it stays on all the time rather than flashing. I think the flashing might get on your nerves after a while. But it is very, very pretty and I do like that. And I love the moon glow in there. That is really good. Okay, so let's have a look at these colours. And just got a warning on there. All right, so we've got 
got oh it looks like all oh, blues and purples and maroons okay nice color palette oh it's got a hot pink as well yes it's got a hot pink oh i didn't realize it had a hot pink <laughs> i'm pleased i got this one now rather than the uh, sugary type one so purples pinks we've got our little black there is that a very very dark actually no that's a very dark blue that's not black and a very dark purple a little bit of uh, gold which is going to go in your windows of your castle all around here so you've got your lights in your castle more lilacs and mauves and purples a little bit of blue and uh, that's your black then we have got some black in it and then a little bit of pink at the end i don't think i've ever seen so many purples in a canvas but that's great love that so this one will be adding to my a pile of the pre-framed ones that need to get done and so i think for the price they're at really really good value and a nice kit as well nice box and everything if you wanted uh, to get somebody into diamond painting that hasn't done any before right and i'm going to put that list in there so i know which picture those drawers belong to just in case so that is that one i think that's well worth the money i do like that yeah, and I love the fact that it lights up as well. That's just that little bit different. And then the other one. This one is a bigger one. And does it tell us what size it is? Uh, it tells us the colour color and contents may vary from those illustrated. Ooh, we've got one canvas, uh, 40 centimetres by 40 centimetres. 6,251 crystals. Sorry, you can't see that. I'm reading it from the bottom down here. Uh, one plastic tray, one applicator stylus, one silicon gum, uh, and one instruction sheet. Right, and it says copyright image, uh, Getty images. So it is uh, fully licensed and copyrighted. So that's good. Oh, right. It actually says on the back here, UK $29.99, US $39.99 and Canadian $39.99. So to get this for £12 is really, really good. Mm. And I've just sat and read all that, squinting, trying to read it all. And it's in big numbers, uh, big letters there. Look, I could have just read that. <laughs> oh, what am I like? Definitely not safe to let me out on my own. All right, has this got tape on it? No, it hasn't, so that's good. All right, so let's have a look at this one. Oh, I see. Ooh. So whether the colours will actually be more vibrant like this once I get them on, I don't know. Um, it is, again, only a partial. So none of the uh, four chaps. Um, are actually diamond painted it is just literally uh, the background and the guitars so that'll be quite good with the guitars all diamond painted so this one will be quite a quick one to do i think okay let's take it out of here and i'm using my nails again after just complaining i've broken two nails when i've got my little knife sat there that i can use okay this one actually has an instruction sheet rather than uh, the instructions being printed on the back of the box uh, so that's telling us how to diamond paint oh right it's just an instruction sheet on one side but it has got the pictures as well so that's pretty good okay uh, we have oh now then pen boat and wax and no grip seal bags okay so do we have a oh we do i was going to say do we have an inventory sheet uh, yeah, we've got a little key code there with only eight different gems and colours as well. So it's a mis mixture of uh, acrylic drills and crystals. Right, so let's have a look at the picture. Nicely framed again on a wooden frame. Oh, that's got a bit folded over there. That's not good because that glue is showing. But it is still sticky, so that's okay. Let's just fold that back over so it stays on that little bit there we don't want to uh, end up with no sticky sorry we've got a bit of glare there let me tip them that way a bit so yeah so that is your different beetles so i like the fact that the guitars are done as well so 
why have we only got three guitars then? Okay, never mind. Oh, mind you, did John Lennon not have a guitar? Did he just sing? I'm not quite sure. Um, not really into the Beatles, if I'm honest. I'm sure my friend will be jumping up and down to tell me. But yeah, and I just thought it's quite a nice picture and it's already framed as well so I don't have to go looking around for a 40 by 40 frame it has already got a frame on it there are guide circles on it as well so you're gonna have to make sure that the gems are put exactly in place oops sorry it's ever so bright because I've got to take the window open and the fan on because it's really really warm today but yeah very very clear drill field there I say guide circles so you have to make sure you, your gems go right over the top of them otherwise you can see the white bits underneath so let's have a look at these eight gems all right so oh it looks like just the one silver crystal then okay so the background is oh bubblegum pink and like this sort of burnt orangey red they're both the same, yeah, 8 and 8 and 7 and 7 and 6 is just a slightly different colour. And then I suppose this is for the guitars, a little bit of orange and brown. And we've got a little bit of blue there, that's probably for the other guitar. A little bit of like a palish purple. And then the silver's probably the edgings and everything on the guitars and the strings. So, yeah, okay, very quick and easy one to do, but... So as soon as I saw this and I thought, oh, right, I mean, you would expect to pay for, for a 40 by 40 licensed painting a lot more than £12. Um, but yeah, I mean, it would need to be huge. I think you can see now that if you wanted to get a canvas with faces on and actually get the detail on the faces, then you need to be an awful lot bigger than 40 by 40. Because if you start putting gems on those faces now, then they're just going to disappear. You're going to lose all the detail on them. You could maybe do the hair, but like the fingers and the hands and everything, you're just going to lose it. Um, and even maybe the clothes. I'm surprised they've not done a little bit on the clothes. But anyway, you know, it is and maybe because of the license they weren't allowed to do that. Maybe they were told that, you know, they couldn't put gems on the needles. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's my two canvases. I think on the whole I'm pretty pleased with these I'll see how they work up when I do them and I will let you see them I'll certainly uh, be doing the Beatles one fairly quickly because that is a birthday that's coming up and uh, this one will go in my to-do pile but yeah with it having lights on and already framed I think I'm quite looking forward to uh, getting that one done and getting it up on the wall It'd be nice in the bedroom I think with the little lights Okay, well, as I say, keep watching to uh, pass the end because then you'll get to see uh, the little bit of shopping that we did as well and uh, the little bit of wandering round. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me and you enjoy the shopping experience. Uh, if you have, thumbs up is always very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next and join our little family, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.